Rosalia Lombardo, born in December 13, 1980, in Palermo, Italy, and died in December 6, 1920, was an Italian child who died of pneumonia. Rosalia's father, official Mario Lombardo, was sorely grieved upon her death, so he approached Alfredo Salafia, a noted embalmer, to preserve her. Her body was one of the last corpses to be admitted to the Capuchin catacombs of Palermo in Sicily. Thanks to Salafia's embalming technique, the body was well preserved. X-rays of the body show that all the organs are remarkably intact. Rosalia Lombardo's body is kept in a small chapel at the end of the catacombs tour and it's encased in a glass-covered coffin placed on a wooden pedestal. A 2009 National Geographic photograph of Rosalia Lombardo shows the mummy is being to show signs of decompositions, most notably decoloration. To address these issues, the mummy was moved to a drier spot in the catacombs and her original coffin was placed in a hermetically sealed glass enclosed with nitrogen gas to prevent decay. The mummy is one of the best preserved bodies in the catacombs. Recently, the mummification techniques used by Salafia were discovered in his handwritten memoir. He injected the cadaver with a fluid made of formalin to kill bacteria, alcohol to dry the body, glycerin to keep her from overdrying, salicylic acid to kill the fungi, and zinc salts to give her body rigidity. Accordingly, the formula's composition is one part glycerin, one part formalin, saturated with both zinc sulfate and chloride and one part of an alcohol solution saturated with a salicylic acid.